help you get your roofs in place. All right, how does that work? If I have a little house here and I'm going to do a story and a half and I go add a second floor, let me go build a new floor based on the first floor, I'll click OK. And let me go ahead and build roofs again. And I click OK. And now I get a gable roof. I mean, well, Chief made a copy of the wall below here, and it still has the gable setting in it. But it didn't copy my pitch change up, but it did keep the gable setting. And if I go look at this right now, I've got a two-story house. Because again, the baseline is put in your plan based on the floor and ceiling height of the room. But well, any time, you can click on any room while you're still doing automatic roof generation. And I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to lower the ceiling height. Remember, baselines are based on the ceiling height of the room where the baseline is going to be placed. We get sick of me saying baseline. Well, let me just lower this. Let's let's go down to 12 inches. I'm going to put a 12 inch ceiling in this room temporarily and rebuild my roofs. All right, so build my roofs again. And if I do a cross section through this, okay, you'll see that, well, there's my ceiling down here at 12 inches. I don't want a 12 inch ceiling in my attic. But what I did is I used that setting to get my baseline down here lower, just in that room. And at any time, you can go back into that room once the roof is in place, once the roof is in place and you're done working on the roofs, I could go in here and I could move my, my ceiling height back to the default setting or whatever you want. You'll notice the first thing Chief does is it puts this dotted line in. That dotted line is the ceiling meets the sloping roof. That's what that dotted line is right here and here. The roof won't change. If I rebuild my roofs now, it will because Chief's going to look for that eight foot ceiling and it's going to start my roof up here again. But you can use temporary ceiling heights to get a roof in place anytime. You can do that all day long. Now, another little tip about that let's say you need to put some knee walls, and the knee walls need to be four feet tall. Well, temporarily, see my roof's in the right place, temporarily change the ceiling height to four feet. Click OK. That is the spot where four feet is, right there. Go we'll draw your knee walls there. And you'll be good to go. So just draw your knee walls. I'm going to put those in place. There you go. You got your knee wall at four feet. You might need to say, well, I need to know where the six foot headroom is. So I'll move that to six feet. Now I'll just draw a CAD line there, make it dotted, and say that's, and I'll put a little piece of text that says, that's my six foot ceiling height. You know, in these story and a half situations, you might need to do that. Now I've got that done. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise the ceiling back up to the default eight foot height. There you go. So now you've got your knee wall in place. You've, you've marked where six feet is. And you've also got your ceiling height back at eight feet. Again, look look at what the roof is doing. Because the roof is in my plan and it's finished, it's not moving. So that's why I say use temporary ceiling heights to get the roof in place and then to do other things too. You know, again, to find those different ceiling heights. Ceiling heights can be changed once the roof is in place. But again, fuse the automatic roof tool now. You'll be back to where you started. Mm -hmm.